Maz, Kelly, massive game coming up in a couple of weeks at Celtic Park, where we're at right now. I've obviously never played there. I'm so excited. Can you guys tell me what it's like? You want to go first? Go on. Uh, it was one of the best experiences um, of my life. Uh, just the, being able to come out before the game, walk on the pitch, um, see the, like, the surroundings. It's obviously different walking around the pitch like on a daily basis, but actually being right in the middle of the pitch was amazing. And then to, to come out to the warm-up and then even to play here with record-breaking crowds was, yeah, it was definitely one of the, the best things I've ever experienced in football. Was your experience similar? Yeah, I think like we'd played here before last season, like we played in the COVID year and stuff, and it's so, like just playing on the park's amazing. Um, but I don't think any of us really expected the crowd to be as big as it was last year or anything. Um, and it just, I don't know, like I feel like I'm quite a calm person, so I try to come to this like a normal game, just like any other Sunday. Um, get a little bit more excited when you t turn up to the stadium but Maz is right like once you're like out on the pitch and it's like surreal it yeah like surreal. looking around and uh -huh. people are coming in like before before you've even started your warm-up like people are already in and I guess like because you're used to coming and watching the main play so like you're the one that's in, in the stand and coming out and watching the build-up from from the other side it's like being on the pitch and realizing that the emotion that you feel when you come to watch the guys is the emotion that the people that are already in the stadium will be feeling right now like it was just so weird to be on the on the grass and not in the stand and then like the game was or the the games last year were amazing like like say i think i don't know no matter how how many times people told me we were expecting a big crowd like both I games they expect, blew yeah. my mind like yeah. it was unbelievable is that something that you ever thought you would be a part of obviously like we've just turned professional not too long ago you've been to a bunch of the men's games you're both very big fans on the men's side like is that something that you ever thought would come to fruition for the women's side no, no. Not even play like I remember the COVID year and I was like watching you play that game at Celtic Park and I was like, Wow, like I would love to play here. Even as like, a wee girl growing up, you come in here, you're like, I'd love to play at Celtic Park and like to actually do it. Like I think it was like the lights that hit me, like see when you walk onto the pitch and there's just hundreds of lights like right down shining on you. Like it was oh it was surreal. So surreal. But was that really special for you then, growing yeah. up as a as a Celtic fan your whole life? Definitely. I think it was like being able to see like my friends in the stands and like my family as well, like looking and seeing them and like knowing that they were there and to witness something that like well I like I'll remember for the rest of my life. Um and obviously that the night that we bet City was t like to go in losing one 0 at half time, we got we get into trouble a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um but to then come out and win three 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 one was and the goals were good as well. Yeah. Other goals were really good. And like, it was just, I, I, I actually, I, I generally love words. Like the noise when the ball hit the net and stuff like that. Like, I feel like if you'd asked me like three, four years ago, will you play at Celtic Park? I'd have told you, yeah, we will play at Celtic Park. Like that was that was a given. Will you play at Celtic Park in front of like more than ten thousand people? I told you no. Like never. I just didn't see women's football in Scotland ever getting to that point in my playing career. And then. The fact that like we weren't even planning on playing the last game against Hearts here, mm -mm. and then we beat City that night, and it was like chat started yep. happening like yep. oh, get the game at Celtic all Park, get the game at Celtic yep. Park, and then like I think people behind the scenes pushed, and and then we found out that it was happening, and to then get like an even bigger crowd, and it was like because so, it was so unplanned, like yep. usually mm -hmm. you've got like the big yeah. lead up to it and ticket campaigns and all that kind of thing, but like they because of the situation that we were in after beating City. We knew that if we won all of our games and like, yeah, we needed things to happen elsewhere, but like we could have won it on the last day of the season and stuff. And I just think there was like, well, like two weeks between the games, if that, like 10 days or oh, something. Oh, there wasn't a lot of time at all. Like only, there was only like two weeks prep or something. So the last time you played here was against Hearts. How does it feel to be doing that again yeah. this season? I didn't, I didn't even click there that that's what we were doing, but I think it's like, we just need to go out and do the exact same as we done. Go out, we we performed well we knew that game as well that goals could matter um, and goals can still matter so I think it's like just being able to go out and like score as many goals as we can but also play put on like a good show for everyone who will come and watch and um, play good football and show what we can what we can do as a football team just feed off the energy like yeah it's you know, our, our fans bring energy to everybody but this is bigger scale 
Like, I think we did that last year really well. Oh, I think Maybe like to begin with against Glasgow City, everyone was a bit like, yeah, well, deer in headlights a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like after Fran went through us at half time, and I think we like came in second half and we just played a few calm passes. It settled everyone's nerves, goal. I think. Yeah. Um, because I don't think anyone expected us to go, and I don't think we did expected to go behind when in the first half when we did against City. Um, we knew it was going to be a tough game, but with the crowd and everything, uh, but then to come back out and like when we scored, like you just felt like the yeah. uproar, like you just heard, like you heard it like in you, like it was. It's oh, like it was weird because I, I I can't even remember who I spoke to, or like somebody that I know spoke to, like one of the groundsmen or something before, and I think like pretty recently, and they were saying about how like. When you're in the stand, you, you realise that, like, you know that it's loud. Like, you, right. you've been here recently. Like, you right. know that it's loud. Like, when you're on the pitch, like, it's, like, all at you. Mm. It's, like, in the stand, you know, it's, it's louder around about you. You can feel, you can hear it. Like, you, but you can, can still feel talk it. to the person next yeah. to you. Yeah, but, like, yeah. on the pitch, it's, like, it's ev- everybody that's shouting is shouting at you. Mm. So, like, it's a different level. Like, it's, like, I don't know. I, you know I what I mean? Like, no, in I the stand, you, you know yep. it's loud, but on the it's pitch, like coming it's, coming like, all yeah. around yeah. you. Yeah, so, like, it's genuinely... We, I mean, we couldn't. I, f- I don't think Fran did much coaching until half time because you just couldn't. You just yeah, couldn't hear. You hear like you, uh, you genuinely could not hear each other. I don't. I don't know how the guys do it. Like it's. it's it was insane. Like just. I think. Uh, well, you've done it. You did it. Yeah. So you know how they do it because you've done it. I suppose you just have to play well, and so you don't need to communicate. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, honestly, it's just. It's because it's directed at you. It's just. It's diff- It's a whole different ball game. You looking forward to it? Yeah, no, I definitely am. I went to a men's game recently. Yeah. Um, Kel was there. So it was nice. It, and I think that, you know, the legends that you hear about Celtic and Celtic Park, obviously, to be here every day, it's beautiful. So the chance to play on it, I think, is, is really incredible. And then just continuing our campaign, just continuing to win, I think that that would be something really cool to do at Celtic Park. So I am definitely looking forward to it. Do you think you'll, on the day, do you think you'll, like, do you think it'll feel different? Because I said that I tried to stay calm the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's weird. I don't know. I guess maybe it depends. I. I think if you're used to it, I I played in the grand final in Australia last season and it was packed, it was jam-packed in, in their stadium in Sydney. So I feel like I might be like that, but at the same time, it's different everywhere you go. And I think the legacy, the legend of Celtic makes it a little bit different. So I can sit here and I could say, oh yeah, I've done it. <laughs> you haven't. So, <laughs> so I definitely, I think it'll be, it'll be good. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Okay, guys, one last question then. Obviously, this game here at Celtic Park starts a massive streak for us. Important game, semifinal, City, Rangers. Like, it's back to back to back. How important is it to get a good crowd, to get started off the right foot, to start that that run? I think it's massive. Like, I mean, obviously, every game is big, but it's such that's such an important couple of weeks for us. Um and you know, I think if we if we can get a good crowd here and we play good football and we win the match, then I've already said that like last year we we won here against City, and if we hadn't won here against City, there's I mean, the game wouldn't have been here against Hearts, but like we would never have got that crowd. Right. So like, the game here is massive because like, last year we I think we we grew in confidence. I felt yeah. Like if the if we if we didn't win the City game or like that was it, that yeah. was done. Um, and, and then I look think at the run game that we made won. Yep, yep. Like, like every game was like we yeah. need, we need to win this um, if yep. we want to if we want to win this league um, and unfortunately we didn't but we've now got a chance to go and we we've got that chance to go and potentially win this league and we're in a better position than we were last season last season um, and I think like being here we get a good win here we have a good performance like we will feed off that we will have confidence going into this this next run of games and. It's going to be tough. The semi final at Hamden. We obviously got a really good crowd there as well when we played in the final. Um, so I think we have the momentum to then go into that game. I think um, I think it'll be really good for us. Yeah, I think historically one of the things that people in the league would have said about us is that we like we rise to big occasions and in front of like big crowds we've usually played our better football than without. Right. So like if we can get a big crowd here on that game against Hearts and then encourage you know if we play, like I say if we play well then it encourage, encourages them to come to the Rangers game to come to the City game to come to the next Rangers game yeah. like it's it's definitely something that I think people in the league would say about us Yeah, is that when when there's a little bit of pressure on us when there's a crowd in the stands 
usually we've we've risen to that occasion and i, like I think recently we've done yeah, that here as this, well this like team we've is carried so it on much yeah. about the fans so i feel like the more fans that are there it like literally injects into it's this energy, squad yeah for sure and it's always a big thing that we say before the games but and elena's been big in it and even fran was as well is like look do it for the fans yeah. do it for the people who are there every week who come to games week in week out um the rain the snow the sun yeah. whatever it may be like do it for them and i think well I speak for myself, but I'd say most of the girls, like 90% of the girls, 100% of the girls, we do it for the fans. Like no, we go out there and like everyone is, everyone goes out and sees what the effort they put in towards us and we want to be able to give that I, back I genuinely, to them. I genuinely think since the um, away fixture against Rangers in the league, like I I feel like the, the players even more than ever right. do it for the fans now. Right. Like something happened that fixture and there's like a desire to do well for the fans every yeah. single game there's like i'm not saying that we didn't have it before but it's like multiplied like right. i feel like the you know the the way that the girls have reacted and the energy that they bring throughout the week to prepare for what we do for the fans on the sunday i, there's, I don't know no, i don't know how you guys I'm, feel but yeah. i feel like there's been like a a, a, a shift like i'm not saying that it was bad before but it's gone from like good to like even better i think what i noticed as well kelly and like you might be on the same page as like with me is like when we have foreign players who come in who haven't grown up Celtic fans like that and then when you see them start to realise yeah. like how a big club this is and what it actually means to, for yeah. example, me and Kelly to play here, to, to wear a Celtic badge week in, week out, to go in and wear the hoops. Like when you start to see that in other people who aren't actually Celtic fans, like yeah. it gives you that like, oh, like they, they're they enjoying this, this. They, they want this. Yeah. Like, and I, I think feel like we've proper got that. I yeah. feel like we've proper got that. The yeah. group's proper got I that. I think, like, but I get like, that's what I'm saying, like, especially recently, like, especially in the past, like, month or so, I feel like it's gone from being, like I say, being good to like, being, like, beyond, like, the right. the spirit within the team, the desire, like, say, the desire to do well, I think it's gone through the roof. I, agree. I love it. I love when, I love when you feel that, when you start to feel the energy from, from everybody else. Yep. I love it. When I everyone definitely just do. buzzes off each other. Yeah. Like, if you're in the squad, if you're not in the squad, like, everyone. Everyone wants the same. We all want to win the league, the Scottish. Like we all want to do well, and like I think everyone does just buzz off each other. With yeah, that. I think the changing is brilliant. Now. Yep. Well, it's something to look forward to on April twenty first, and hopefully, we'll have lots of fans to join us on that journey. Thanks, guys.